what you didn't know about me. Well, there are probably lots of things you don't know about me, but one of the biggest thing is probably that I'm actually a mother. Me, a mom? Yeah, I can't believe it myself either. To this day, I still can't wrap my head around the fact that holy shit, I'm officially a mother now. Like, what? Yeah, I'm giving you time to process that. My daughter is actually about to turn one year old next month. It's insane how fast time has passed. Literally, she's growing up so fast, too fast. That means I spent the majority of last year being pregnant. Even though I'm sure none of you was even aware of that. Despite me putting out a bunch of videos that year. No one had a clue, most likely because I never mentioned it. In case you haven't noticed i never really openly talk about my personal life on here anyway she arrived a few days past the original due date that was given to me i delivered that baby all natural push her out of me myself no epidural nothing allow me to brag because that shit was not easy okay it's probably one of the hardest and most painful thing one might experience in their life and postpartum recovery was so difficult, draining, and exhausting. It almost felt harder than giving birth. And I don't know if it was because I was also dealing with COVID at the same time. Yep, literally right after I delivered her, I started developing symptoms of COVID. And when tested, yep, I was positive for COVID-19. A few weeks before my due date, my in-laws got sick. All right, in-laws. Well, they threw the wedding ceremony about six years ago, though it's not legally on paper. So to friends and family, me and him are husband and wives or whatever, but it's not officially on paper yet. So I like to say we're supposedly married. But anyway, first my father-in-law got quite sick. I'm pretty sure he had COVID even though he refused to test for it. Then my mother-in-law got sick and then eventually my significant other got sick. And even though I didn't get sick, it was rough since everybody in the household was sick while I was battling out the final days of my pregnancy. But of course it was inevitable that I eventually caught it from them. But thank God it didn't start kicking in until after I had delivered my baby. In any case, I have digressed. The main purpose of this video is for me to announce to you all that I actually have a daughter so that I can start sharing videos of her with my YouTube audience. I didn't want to just out of the blue post videos of a baby and have your jaws on the floor like what in the world? Where did this come from? Huh? Whose baby is that? So I just wanted to make a separate video to officially share this fact with you. She is so adorable and I've just been dying to share her with you guys. It honestly feels like a crime not to share such a lovable and gorgeous baby with the world. And since I'm not a vlogger or anything like that, I didn't really document my pregnancy journey like how I've seen some YouTubers do. So I don't have much good footage or recording but i will share a quick run through of whatever pictures i can find on my phone that's from the time period of my pregnancy
Stunts after I turn off the camera. Start the camera, she stops moving. I want to put it away. She starts the camera. Come on, come on, do something. Come on, do something. Okay, now. Impressions. <laughs> Are you just kicking around? Ooh. Come on, I know you got some grand gestures. Don't they show me? <gasps> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Clips may be a little graphic. Okay, I warned you. Oh my god, you see this 
This is me looking like shit. I think a day or two after I delivered her, I was still in the hospital, obviously. Um, I just look dead and sick as hell, man. <laughs> Bruh. I told you, daddy's also exhausted and knocked out. We're doing baby my bang, pretty much, <laughs> pretty much baby my bang right here. Actually, has to pause the fart. Hey, <laughs> you, hey, you, oh, daddy's feeding Gloria. Oh, she's a sleepyhead, bro. Dude, is she snoring? Yesterday I told you she yeah. looks out like she's snoring already. Bro, okay. you're not even done. She like knew. Oh, yeah, you're not even done. Oh, oh. Daddy snores and she already picked up on that habit. I was like, she's only one day old, she already knows how to snore. Yo, she's passed out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's smiling. Mm. You know, what they put in that milk? <laughs> Knocked out. And these are some of the pictures when Loria first went home. Yep, just fresh out from the hospital, back home. Or first time home, really. in my stomach but now that she's like out she, she was having a like a daily basis <laughs> but hiccups in it oh yeah yeah she was look daddy's holding her cutie princess sleeping actually a gift from him um he's normally never this sweet nor thoughtful but maybe like a few days after we came home and then this was delivered to our house
Christmas tree all lit up with gifts and everything on the bottom. It looks so pretty. Here's grandma really wanting to take a picture with Gloria, but Gloria is totally just not having it. She's like, really guys, this is necessary. She's like, hey, put it away, no more pictures. Who says I can't vogue in my sleep? Are y'all guys done? I'm the boss baby here. Mom, you look like you need some sleep. Dad, I thought you said you were supposed to put me to sleep. How you fell asleep before I did? Let's just say mommy is a good photographer. Hi mommy, I love you. Just came into this world and somehow is already attempting to dab. Anyway, these are just some of the ones from 2021. She's grown up so much during the course of this year and I have a lot more pictures and videos of her and with her that I'm planning to post in the near future. I really hope you do stop by to watch the new videos whenever I upload them because she only gets cuter. Thank you so much for watching guys and goodbye.